welcome to What Is It About the Weather, a podcast where we explore the many ways in which weather intertwines itself into our everyday lives. I'm your host, Mark Jelinek, and boy, it felt good to say that. It's been a while, hasn't it? A little over a year and a half. Well, I guess, you know, for those that listen almost close to real time, it would be that way. You know, if you're just picking up the podcast, maybe you're, it's just going to flow right through. 100, 101. We'll see. I hope there's some of you that are doing it that way. I, I've followed, you know, the downloads and stuff since then, and there's still a lot of people that picked up the podcast well after it was initially recorded, which is great. I'm glad people have. But f- during that year and a half, those again who know me and have stayed, you know, follow me on various social media platforms know that my life went through a little bit of change. But it's time to get back behind the microphone. And, you know, I made that decision a little while back, you know, back on February 29th, I sat down and recorded a little snippet, a little snippet that said, hey, it's time to get back and do this. What is it about the weather thing? And then the whole world seemed to get turned on its head, right? Now, I can't imagine there's anybody who's listening to this around the globe that hasn't had their world altered in some way, shape or form during the last couple of months. I hope that wherever you are and whatever you're dealing with, that the impacts have been as constrained and minor as possible. Now, I know that may not be the case for everybody. I've dealt with enough in the last couple of years to know that life's not that simple. So if you've had challenges that you've been dealing with, whether it's been health or whether it's been financial, just mental, whatever it is, please accept my wishes that the days ahead continue to get better. Okay. And all I can tell you from everything I've been through in the last couple of years is your days can get better. So keep hope and not related to this podcast. If you ever need somebody to talk to, don't hesitate to reach out. I'll be there. Be glad to help in some way if I can. Now, let's talk about this podcast a little bit. As I said, there were some reasons it got put into hiatus a while back. Not going to dwell on it here. We're also not going to dwell on COVID too much. It's clear that some episodes are going to be influenced in the near term by COVID. No doubt about it, including the next one, because I just keep getting asked a lot about the role weather plays in how this virus continues to make its way around our lives. But I also want the podcast to hopefully give us an opportunity to remember that weather is there all the time and maybe helps bridge our sensations of normality or abnormality in something of a, I don't know, a way that we can deal with even just this week. I'm now residing just outside of New York City And I had to deal with a tornado warning, not something I'm used to seeing up here. But at the same time, the thunderstorms and whatnot that came with it, I I enjoyed, right? That that part was good for me. But I'm sort of a little weird that way, right? You guys know that. I love my weather. Wouldn't be sitting here behind the microphone talking about it all the time if I didn't love my weather. But I really want the podcast to feel like it did in past episodes, to find those opportunities to explore weather's interaction with us. But maybe in a way that's expanding, our thought processes, entertaining, and it gives us a chance to just chill for a little bit, learn a little bit, but not in a stressful environment by any means. So I think the, initially the format will kind of go back to that initial thing, 20 to 30 minutes, you know, a, a, something that isn't so long that it becomes overwhelming, but long enough to at least pass along some some useful information, let's say. That may change as we go forward. I might also look for ways, particularly given the current environment, for us to have a little more live interaction. I've played with Twitch a little bit over the last year and a half in some other uh, situations, and I do think that's something I might lean on. Probably not initially, but it, again, it, an, it would probably be in a way that allows us to have some back and forth 
outside of the episode itself. I don't know that it'll work its way directly during the production process. You may still see it, right? You may see what's going on, but you're not going to get a lot from me because this I'm still kind of you know, this one person trying to do all these things. It's funny, my little setup I'm even working with here now, just trying to get the microphone not to fall down. All this stuff I got to set up again because I'm not used to it. But I do want to look for ways to explore in these kind of different world we're living in an opportunity for us to maybe change it, maybe to shake things up a little bit. So keep an eye out for that as well. But in the short term, we're going to hit, like I said, some episodes that may seem related to the world in which we're living in now and the uniqueness of the situation we're living in now, but also some things that will hopefully feel normal from before and going forward or how we bridge the gap in going forward. But no matter what, I, I looked back at one of the episodes and I was reminded, you know, it is weather, the, this topic where we talked, I talked about how weather is, why do we use it? Why is it such a, a language connection that, you know, we always ask people, how's the weather you're And I even find myself doing that. I'm talking to family and friends and weather still is that one of those things. And I, I, I can tell you that one of the reasons it is at least with this group, is it seems so non-stressful. Even when you're talking about thunderstorms or being focused on the potential dangers of severe weather, it feels so small in comparison to other things. And that can be whether it's COVID or it could be politics or financial stuff, all that. And it provides just something that we know is going to happen all the time, no matter weather's going to keep happening, right? These other things may come and go. The severity of these other things may come and go, but weather is going to go through its cycles. So we use it. And I'm going to take an opportunity to use it here to hopefully get back to providing you guys. Maybe it's an escape. Again, maybe it's some entertainment. Maybe it's some education. Doesn't matter. Some combination thereof. But no matter what it is, I hope that you will have an opportunity to interact with me, whether it's through Twitch or just starting with, hit me up at whatisitabouttheweather at gmail.com if you have thoughts about topics. You know, maybe after you listen to all the episodes, you go, God, I wish he had done this, and I'm glad to hear he's going to be back doing it. Feel free to pop me an email. You'll also start seeing some things from me on social media. So whether it's Twitter or Instagram or whatever it is, Feel free to maybe pay a little more attention to my outputs because I'll, I'll probably ramp that up again. And we'll see where we go from here. I may also do some other podcasts. I don't know. Don't know right now. But this one for now is going to hopefully bridge that gap into what was normal before can be normal going forward. That's my goal. And I think, with, like I said, with everything going on, all the things I've been dealing with, all the things you've been dealing with, I know every day I've been able to go, Hmm, that's a neat cloud in the sky or ah, that's a nice thunderstorm and be reminded of weather keeps going on, but it's always a key point in this podcast, right? To remember that it's not just about the weather because there's much more to weather than the weather itself.